Hi, I'm Ray, and this is my vegetable plot. So, I've come down here this morning, and we're now on Friday, and it's the 7th of August, and we come down to the plot just for a quick update. Um, thank you very much for everybody to give me the support for my plot for the eviction on five days before the end of July I was sent an email and it said according to the rules of conduct all plots should be cultivated and kept free of weeds and noxious plants. The committee does not feel that your plot is currently maintained to the standard so as per rules of conduct we are advising you that your plot needs to be returned to a fit state by 1st of August. If at this date the plot has not been improved with a first written warning will be issued and then given eight weeks warning to rectify the plot. So I'm so sorry to email you concerning this matter but please understand that the allotment committee has a duty to the landowners to keep the plots in a fit state and duty to the other allotment holders. So join the week before last, I spent a few hours down here and I gave it a good tidy. And many of you looked at my July tour and said my plot was looking pretty good and wondered why I actually needed the email in the first place. So I will show you a few updates that I've done, but also a few things that I've now changed and we'll give you an update. So this is the brassica bed and it was rather tall with weeds and I have de-weeded some of this and we still need a little bit at the back that needs to be done. So we've made a good start but there is still more to be done. So this is my awful attempt at my peas and they've been absolute rubbish. But we have cleared all these beds and it's looking better now. The cabbages we're in a pretty poor state and they've been de-weeded but if we can see inside they've been pretty much eaten. I've still got one more cage right at the end still to do. Just loving the sunflowers but I do wonder why they're not all growing the same size and they're all going down but they're getting a good water So the polytunnel was rather bare and I put these two pumpkins in one either side and I'm going to grow an arch in the middle and I'm going to get the pumpkin to grow around the arch and that'd be quite interesting but these are growing on nicely now and I also see there's a hole back in the polytunnel we had lots of problems last year with rodents eating all the goods in the polytunnel so I hope that it all sorted out but I'm not so sure now I love the onions and the seed balls that they produce and I wanted to collect some seeds but some people might think they're just weeds and they're left but I do like to watch things grow and also what they create because that's amazing the shapes and the sizes that they make but people could also say 
you know, it's not grown. Sad choice. Also, poppies. The poppies are all died. But we can save the seeds. And what might think looks like a, a dead plant? Well, it's seeds deceiving the seeds. Saving the seeds. And these are probably ready now to harvest some seeds. Let's just take a look. Yep, there we go. So this is one of the beds that we really did clear up and we got some of the uh, strawberries that have been growing in here and this empty bed is my no dig potato bed and looking at it looks like it's not been cultivated but there actually is potatoes inside and when you look at it it doesn't look like there's much going on, but there is in fact potatoes in there that need digging out. We've got two butternut squashes in the netted cage, and then also the sweet corn. So this is the potatoes, and the this is the potatoes in the buckets. Verica's Little Welsh Gardens Potato Challenge and yes it looks scruffy but there is actually vegetables growing so it does look scruffy but uh, when they'll be out there'll be another area tidied Now this bed here was one of the worst beds. As we go down, we didn't do so much to further down this allotment, but we did clear the weeds and we did have a colleague come with a rotavator last week and try to give it a bit of a rotavate. So we've had a bit of a clear, so this is looking a lot better now. So we have four beds here that we made from old decking wood and we've cleaned these and I've covered them up just because we're not growing anything at the moment. We've got sweet corn in this one, that's weedy still, but that was another three beds that we cleared. Also just cutting the grass makes a big difference. So one area that I haven't showed you is the back of the polytunnel and now this is a bit, a bit weedy and this does need attention. The junk on this pile here is what came off the, the bed there so that one needs to be disposed of. But this back section is getting towards the end of the allotments and this section here was just taken on as it was abandoned and it's just a bit of extra land that was able to take on. So we're just using it as storage, wood storage. And I do want to make this quite useful. And I am going to make some pallet beds. Using pallets, making pallet bed compost bin. And I wish to do that on the back. And then that will make it a bit more useful. I never did finish the beds this end on winter and it's also a good winter project to get done this winter. Why allotment committees have rules 
and this is my neighbour's plot and just within a couple of weeks the weeds, the nettles, vine weed has taken hold. So I do understand there has to be rules but there we go. So anyway So we're talking to the committee and apologising. Things have been difficult. During the first lockdown, we came down every morning, five o'clock. We got a good display last year. But then since the second lockdown, we've changed career, started work. Of course, you've got to make a good impression in your new job taking on lots of overtime and of course the allotment time gets left so I appreciate that and I do really enjoy the allotment and I do need to make more time because I spend approximately four to five hours a week down here at the moment and I have got a really exceptional large plot with the big polytunnel and it has been hard keeping it up. So I do understand, but it is as it is. Here we go. So I've had the email from the committee, and it says, Hi Ray, just to say that your plots are now going the right way, so no further action from the committee. So. That's positive. So we do need to keep on top of that. And we're going to spend an hour this morning just tidying up some of these weeds before heading back. So thank you very much to everybody who commented, watched my video. Really appreciate it. And please join me on my Facebook group, Gardening Online. And that'd be wonderful. So. Thank you very much for now. Better get on instead of making videos. Cheers.